St. Lucie County wants to help the growing number of homeless veterans. The county is planning on turning the old Relax Inn Motel building off US-1 into a homeless shelter that gives priority to veterans. This comes after the area saw an increase in homeless veterans needing assistance, and the governor signed a bill that requires municipalities to provide shelter for the homeless. CBS 12's Amber Robb joins us with a look at the project and how this shelter hopes to help the homeless community. Amber. The commission just bought this land right here and within the next six months, they hope to turn this space into a space where homeless veterans will be given priority to come and get help, whether that's for housing, health care or job training, which a local homeless service tells me a place like this will be a game changer for getting those who are homeless off the streets. They wrote a check with their, their, their life. Luckily, they're in a position where that check wasn't cashed, but they did that for us. It's our obligation to provide that back to them. Treasure Coast Homeless Services Council Director of Operations Bruce Cady says they're seeing an increase in veterans needing their services. We're receiving um, between 10 and 15 uh, phone calls every week with about 75% of those being veterans. And those phone calls are coming from people old and young that desperately need their help. Those people that are sleeping in cars, park benches, storage units, uh, and those are the most critical uh, uh, cases that uh, we're just working hard to, hard to serve. The number one factor uh, that is causing homelessness in the United States today is poverty. He says it's critical to get veterans off the street and offer supportive services. And according to County Commissioner Kathy Townsend, this space will go beyond housing. We have mental health coming in to evaluate them and then they'll be properly medicated. There will be career source to be able to get them jobs. The county bought the property for 1.15 million and received an $875,000 state grant for the project. And right now, they're getting it ready for move in. We are ADA accessing it right now. We are handicap assessing the bathrooms so that um, anybody will be able to stay there. After the county finishes these renovations, they will put out a request for proposal to find a nonprofit to run the operation. They tell me they hope to have that nonprofit take over in January. Reporting in Fort Pierce, I'm Amber Robb, CBS 12 News.